somebody who will never have sex with anybody else no matter what and i said well then maybe you should consider marrying somebody that nobody else wants to f <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Billy Collins. Matt. OJ. And this is Magician. And the Jock. Reaction. Time. With Mr. Ron. Why? <laughs> this is not, we didn't even <laughs> practice. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that was a, uh, was it Tater Salad? And he's, he's got a son, Tater Salad. He's been Tom. around forever. I think he was on the Rogan podcast. I totally forgot about Ron White until I, I saw him on Rogan. And I was like, oh my gosh, we got to do. What was the tour he was on? The um, comedy tour? He's with the uh, Blue Jeff Col Fox Blue, Blue Collar Comedy Tour. Yeah. Yep. Jeff Foxworthy and Larry Bill Abel, Labor the Cable Guy. Mm -hmm. He was definitely more more raw than the yeah. other guys. Oh, yeah, 100%. And, and this one, since it's Masters time, apparently Ron White had a time with Tiger because this is called Dicking Around <laughs> with Tiger Woods. Let's do it. My favorite thing about playing Vegas is I get to play this golf course called Shadow Creek, which is one of the most exclusive golf courses in the world. I worked for them three years, didn't even know it existed because they knew if I found out it existed that I'd pester the fuck out of them until they put it in my contract, <laughs> which is exactly what happened. <laughs> it's amazing. This golf course is just fucking so tricked out. The first time I walked through the gates, I was like, nobody's stopping me. <laughs> where all the pros play when they're in Vegas and I was out there this summer and Tiger Woods was out there just dicking around. <laughs> <laughs> I may sign my golf glove. I got to meet the most famous person I've ever met and I know a lot of famous people but nobody as famous as Tiger Woods. I love Tiger, man. I defended Tiger when all that stuff first came out. When I heard those initial rumors, I felt sick to my God damn stomach for the guy because I've never been accused of doing anything I didn't do. <laughs> it's not one goddamn time. I did it every single time. <laughs> not once could I go, no, that was Glenn Campbell. <laughs> Fun fact about Glenn Campbell, you know he married a girl from Newport. Yeah, uh, no, I didn't know that. We're from Eastern North Carolina, so eat your That's heart out. a big out. deal. Big city. Hey, a lot of things smell like strippers. <laughs> and I defended him to my wife. I said, you don't know what this guy's been through. He had his first famous golf shot on television when he was two years old. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to meet Tiger Woods and his father, Earl Woods. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't know what his home life's like. You can't judge a guy because he made one mistake. I think he's got number 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> I started going, God damn, Tiger. Come on, buddy. <laughs> and it got to the point where every time he got caught with another woman, my wife would go like this. <laughs> what? I don't even know the fucking guy. <laughs> you act like I was holding his dick the whole time. <laughs> We watched him make that long apology on television, and afterwards, my wife goes, well, do you think a guy like Tiger could quit cheating on his wife? And I said, Shh. <laughs> 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 <sighs> You bet. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know is bullshit, because you know as well as I do, if a guy likes strange, getting him to quit wanting strange is like getting a dog who likes to kill chickens to quit killing chickens. <laughs> They don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you gotta quit killing chickens. All right, let me see if I got this straight. <laughs> <laughs> I can still kill chickens. No, you can't kill chickens anymore. All right. <laughs> Let's say I'm in a hotel room with the chicken. We're both playing the fifth. Let's say the chicken just wants to touch me. 
<laughs> Can I kill that chicken? No. My wife told me all women want the same thing. They want to marry somebody who will never have sex with anybody else, no matter what. And I said, well, then maybe you should consider marrying somebody that nobody else wants to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That that's that's very you. smart. That's Don't awesome. Marry the most famous golfer in the world. Marry the most famous frisbee golfer in the world. <laughs> so Ain't true. Ain't no line to f that dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... We had a chat about cheating that day. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my wife told me, she goes, listen, Ron, let's get this straight. Sex is sex, period. I said, no, now, wait a minute. Oral sex is not the same as intercourse. She goes, it's the exact same thing. I said, it's not the same price. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I heard that on the radio. It all comes down to opportunity, man. Some guys are put into a position where they have to say no to beautiful women, and that is hard to do. And some guys are never put in that. What did Chris Rock say? People are as loyal as their options. Yeah, that's so true. There's truth in that. I mean, I, I was in professional athletics for a short period of time, and I can tell you, it was not difficult at all. I haven't reached that, that status yet. But, I, but I'm just saying, like, any level of status, I was a minnow compared to the... The Maglodon that is oh, Tiger Woods. Position where they have to say no to beautiful women, and that is hard to do. And some guys are never put in that position, and that's way fucking easier. <laughs> <laughs> I see these big 350 pound guys all the time going, I have never cheated on my wife. I'm like, I bet that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> that's so true. For all that pussy you turned down, and that's the number you're looking for right there. <sighs> My wife's best friend, her husband cheated on her, and my wife hates Tiger's guts. And I'm like, well, what about that guy? You don't hate that guy? She goes, he did it one time. I said, he had one chance. <laughs> this guy had sex with 100% of the women he possibly could his entire goddamn life. Tiger was 18 for 82,000. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a little goddamn discipline right there. True. If 82,000 women want to have sex with you and you only fuck 18 of them, that's love. <laughs> he was in love with that woman. She broke his tiny tiger heart. <laughs> he lost all those sponsors, which never made sense to me because his core fan base is men. I don't know one guy in America gave a fiddler's what he did. <laughs> I guarantee you that one guy in America. Really? Tiger got some straight pussy? I'm dropping AT&T! <laughs> <laughs> Not one That's guy so gave true. a fiddler's <laughs> <laughs> Now, when they were around their wives, they'd act like they gave a fiddler's f get all foghorn, leghorn. Why, I never, I can't believe <laughs> a man would commit such transgressions for his wife. I say, I say, how's his relationship with the Lord, I'd like to know. Oh. Then as soon as they're around their buddies, they're like, wonder what kind of cologne he wears. <laughs> <laughs> smell just like that dude man <laughs> you lost so many sponsors i'm thinking about bringing him over to ron white inc and not because we need a new face for the company i just love to have somebody around the house to fade the heat when i fuck up <laughs> ron white you are the most selfish prick i have ever met in my life tiger get in here <laughs> <laughs> you tell her what you did Oh. Ron White, you are the finest man I have ever known. <laughs> I shall fall to my bended knee and suckle your penis. Oh. Well, thank you, baby. Slow down. Watch out for those ears. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that whole sponsorship thing is so true. You know who came out smelling like roses from that? Phil Mickelson. Because remember Phil Mickelson like won the Masters, his wife was battling cancer, and he just, he did the, the cheer on the green where he jumped like that, that high. Yeah. Gave her a hug. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I mean, he made a point. Like, he made a big point. Girls like, oh, I only want someone that would never, ever. It's like, well, get with someone that no one else wants. So going back to the whole fame, like having just thrown, I'm not anywhere remotely famous or have any kind of kudos of being famous, but being my status, I'm a bartender at one of the biggest bars around. Mm -hmm. You do get faced with some challenges. And now multiply that mm -hmm. by, and we did a show Early on, early on the channel about celebrity mm -hmm. and like you can tell being a celebrity is everyone in a room knows your name before you walk in All right and it's not announced that you're walking in tiger woods is massive mm -hmm. massive in asia massive here just world the tiger yeah. woods effect he is a he's in the feature group on every we just the masters just got finished i mean he you have like he the has leaderboard a and then it's tiger we well, won the Masters in, in nineteen, in twenty nineteen. But okay, still, that's five years. That's crazy. You, he hasn't won in five years, and he is still relevant. That people are just like, what? It's like Tiger Michael Watch. Jordan. It's Mike, Michael Jordan. He yeah. retired how long ago? He yeah, comes and fishes still. at a tournament here. There's a different level of celebrity. You yeah. have like Jordan, Tiger Woods, Mike Tyson probably, went in boxing. Lionel Messi, yeah, just guys that. Well, and I say Mike Tyson because he's getting ready to have a fight. But how many boxers can you say that are at that stage? And, and Tyson has, hasn't had a legit fight since what? His cameo and Hangover, like just yeah, everyone just, knows who he is. Yeah, so right. like that is such an advantage because that's big for women status. They're looking at if you're trying to attract girl A, your best bet is to walk in with girl B, mm -hmm. who's got to be equal or maybe or even better, better looking. Yeah, to grab that attention. It's going to be like, oh, shoot, Billy's in demand. And by no means am I excusing Tiger, but I still don't we think it's it. Tiger's fault because it's you women. We get it. And what did she get in a divorce settlement? Like uh, $250 million? Something. Yeah, some crazy. A, what's the Bill Burr skit where he's talking about that? She's like, she was a babysitter. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't worth <laughs> like, that. Guys, do us a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. And we will see you on the next video. Peace. You haven't seen this? Mm -hmm. I'll try this and be done with it. Chug, 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 chug. I hate my life. <laughs> Numb the pain. Numb. American Dream. Ew, it's so sweet when it goes down. He was kind of like the Joker right there. Tiger was in the featured group. He made his 24th Masters Cut, which is... I mean, I'm only seven of them. Yeah, I think he came yep. out last. <laughs>